Hello, sports psychology students. It is Monday, January 28th, and the start of week three in the course. Listen, this is a big week in class. It is exam week. Every three weeks, at the end of that week, we will take an exam, five total exams in the course. I'll tell you a little bit about how all that works in the exams. One important thing about exam weeks is that the quiz for this week ends on Thursday. Now, normally they end on Friday, but on exam weeks, quizzes end on Thursday at midnight, so don't forget to get that quiz taken care of early in the week. The exam, then, will be available for 24 hours all day on Friday, from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. on Friday. Take it whenever you get a chance. Um, it's available to take. The exams consist of 40 multiple-choice questions. Some of those questions you've seen before on the quizzes. There are a few questions taken word for word from the quizzes and put on the exam, so you've already got a bit of a preview. And the quizzes also give you a feel of the kinds of questions I ask, so you shouldn't feel like the questions are too unfamiliar. If you've been following along with the material, doing the reading, you should be getting quite well prepared for the exam, although I do recommend studying. The exam itself is 40 multiple choice questions worth two points each, one short answer question worth 10 points. The quiz or the exam is timed. You have 45 minutes from the time you open it to the time it ends to finish it. And if you don't finish, if you don't submit it within the 45 minutes, it will submit it for you. And wherever you are in that point, that's what you will have. Because it is timed, it is super important to study ahead of time. Even though the exam itself is kind of open book, I can't stop you from looking up answers, there is no way you'll have time to look up all the answers. So you still need to study, you still need to prepare, and maybe that'll save you a little bit of time to look up those few questions that you can't quite remember or you're just not sure of the answer. There is a study guide posted this week, and that study guide posted lists several possible short answer questions. The short answer question on the test will be one of those questions word for word. So my advice is prepare in advance a really good answer um, for each of those questions, commit it to memory, and then when you get onto that exam and that short answer, you are ready to go with a really good answer, whichever one uh, that I choose. Don't try to guess which one. That's a really risky uh, strategy and, and that could lead you wrong. Now the exam itself does require the Respondus Lockdown Browser. There is information about the Lockdown Browser available under the Important Stuff module, the Important Stuff tab at the top of our class. It may show up at the bottom for you. I'm not sure about that yet, but there's an Important Stuff where the syllabus is. There's also information there about the Respondus Lockdown Browser. And also posted this week in the, this week's content is a practice quiz. It is a simple three-item quiz. It is not actually scored. The questions are kind of meaningless. Um, but it is there simply for you to test the machine where you want to take the exam to make sure the br lockdown browser works because the practice quiz does require the lockdown browser as well. So make sure that you take that practice quiz sometime during the week to test whatever machine it is that you're on to do the exam. Make sure it'll work. I think it'll work even on iPads and tablets, but I'm not certain. Test the machine you want to use and make sure that it's going to work. Now, when exam day gets here, it's very important that you find at least an hour of time set aside in a quiet place where you won't be interrupted, where you're sure that you're going to have reliable internet access. Whether that's at home, on campus, the library, wherever that might be, find a quiet, uninterruptible place where you can take this exam from start to finish within the 45 minute time frame. I had a, a year or two ago, I had a student email me telling me that she was having Wi Fi problems during the exam because she was at work, she was bartending. Not the ideal place to take an exam. I certainly understand that many students uh, work and that's a, a major uh, burden, but boy, try to find an hour in the day, get up a little earlier or something during those 24 hours to do that exam, not at work or other kinds of distracting places like in other classes. That would not be the right place to take the exam. So that's it about the exam. The exam is Friday, don't forget that. Quiz is due Thursday night. So what about the content this week? Well, this week we turn to a topic that probably you might have expected in a sports psychology class. We're going to talk about psychological states that lead to good performances. Have you ever heard athletes talk about being in the zone or just feeling like they just couldn't lose or couldn't be beat? Maybe some of you have even had that experience yourself, whether it be in sports or other kinds of performance contexts. Well, those are the kinds of things we're going to be talking about this week. One of our lectures is about uh, ideal performance states, or what are sometimes called peak performance states. 
and we also have a little bit of information on psychological assessment. How does a sports psychologist go about assessing the various constructs we want to know about? How do we use those? Um, what are characteristics of those assessments? That's the kind of stuff we'll look at there. So pretty exciting content this week. Uh, there's no assignment due this week. There's a quiz Thursday, remember, I've said it like five times. And don't forget that exam Friday. I look forward to seeing your performance on that. I uh, hope all's going well. If you have questions, please email me. There are also discussion boards within our discussion section on uh, sort of if you're having technical problems, I encourage you to post questions there uh, because other people may want to see your answer. That's kind of like our tech support section for the class. Uh, we also have water cooler if you just want to discuss whatever, like, uh, you know, hey, how are those Cowboys doing with eight players? You know, <laughs> want to talk about that sort of thing. Um, so there's lots of uh, uh, places to post your questions. You can also, of course, email me. So that's it for now. I hope you uh, have a great week. And as always, go Pokes.